Welcome to this quick tutorial for the enhancement introduced in Shear Wall Designer version 5.0, which allows importing wall peers from the eTabs analysis program. You can find this option under File menu and then click Import from eTabs. In the form, simply select and browse to the eTabs file model you would like to import wall peers from. When trying to load the model, the program will verify if analysis has been already run and results are available. Since peer properties and demands can only be imported from a model that already has analysis results, otherwise the program will prompt you to run analysis. Once loaded, we provide a couple of options to select and import the peer. You can select by either choosing from lists where all the peers available per each story are included, or you can select the peer directly in the eTabs program graphical interface by first selecting the peer and then clicking the Get from Selected on GUI button. In this example, we are importing peer label PW8 at story base 1. Click OK and the geometric dimensions of the peer are imported including length, thickness, height, and also the concrete material compressive strength. Of course, these can be modified if required once they are imported into the program. Also, all the load combination demands for axial, moments, and shear are imported as well. Once this data is loaded, we can change any variables and add or remove loads. In this case, we can notice that governing demands are mostly axial and that the wall is failing when using the current properties. To improve the capacity, we can increase the concrete strength, which is usually the most economical solution and seems appropriate in this case. At this point, the wall works. However, since as we notice demands are mostly axial, we can reduce the number of end bars to make the final design even more economical. We can now save the model and then generate and review design reports. First, let's check the summary report. This report lists all major design variables, properties, and details for the design. Also tabulated, you can find a summary of the design results for each of the load combinations that have been defined. Next, let's review the detailed shear calculation report. This report will provide calculations for the governing shear demand case, including relevant sections of the code, so that the engineer can easily refer and double check any variable or equation. Thank you, and as usual a trial version is available for download so you can take it for a test run. For any questions or information don't hesitate to contact us.